In this video, I'll get the DNA replicating and then moving into the diploid cells as part of the mitosis. First, I'll select it and move it into the original cell. And I'll choose Display, Hide, Hide on Selected Objects so I can see them clearer. I'll zoom in. Note that I zoom in, focus in, move around, and show things in shaded and wireframe so I can see what I'm doing as clear as possible. Now for the duplication. I'll name this one DNA Green. I'll duplicate it by pressing Control D and key this at frame 1 here on the time slider by pressing Shift W and Shift E. I dragged over to frame 1 and now I've got a key after pressing those, that little red tick on frame 1. I'll go over to frame 24 clicking on the timeline and dragging to frame 24. Press E to rotate and clicking and dragging on the blue Z axis to rotate this over into position. I'll move it over to make that H shape of the DNA replicating and press Shift W and Shift E again. I'll do this with the other DNA strand, naming it first, calling it DNA White. I'll duplicate it, pressing Shift D, and I hear it frame 1, keying it, pressing Shift W and Shift E. I'll go over to frame 24, rotate it over 180 degrees, making sure I grab on that Z axis again, move it into place, and key it, Shift-W and Shift-E. Now I've got two DNA strands replicating to become four. I'm ready to get the rest of the animation in place, and so I'll show my other objects by pressing and holding spacebar for the hotbox and choosing Display, Show, Last Hidden. For this animation, I need some more frames, so I'll up the frame count to 120, giving me five seconds at 24 frames per second. What I'd like to do is have the duplicate DNA strands move into the bottom and the originals move into the top over three or four seconds. I want them to go just in front of the mitosis so that the DNA is up in place as this blending finishes. I need to move that mitosis over into the right place first. What I'll do on this is go into the dope sheet, choosing Window, Animation Editors, and Dope Sheet. The dope sheet functions like an X sheet from traditional animation. I'll frame that range and open up the plus in the square next to cell original and open up the shape node. And those are the actual keys on that blend. When I've got them selected and I'll use the select key tool, I'll right click and choose edit transformation tools move. And I'll move these keys by clicking and dragging the mouse wheel in. And I'll slide them over maybe to frame 24 or so. This way the DNA can replicate first, then the mitosis can occur as the DNA kind of pushes it out. Now I'll key that DNA. It replicates over, then there's the mitosis, and the mitosis is done right here by about frame 72 or so. What I'd like to do then is have that DNA in place by about frame 67 maybe 65. So it just is there before these are done. I'll pick the duplicate. This one already has a key on it. And at frame 65 I'll slide it down into place, pressing Shift W again to key the movement. I'll pick the other duplicate, maybe offset just a little bit, frame 66 or 7, so it's got a little variety, and pull it down into the right place, pressing Shift W again. Now I'll go back to frame 24, and pick the original DNA strands, zooming in and clicking on it if I need. I'll key this at frame 24, pressing Shift W. And over here at frame 64, let's say, I'll pull it into place into the top diploid cell. I'll key it by pressing Shift W, and do the same with the last strand. Here at frame maybe 25, 26, keying it, going up to frame 68, and pulling it into place in the diploid, pressing Shift W each time to set a key. What we're doing here is getting the pose, as we can call it, in place and looking good before we have a key in the animation. This keeps our keyframes nicely streamlined. It's a great way to animate. I'll check this out in a perspective, seeing how it looks by spinning around, holding Alt on the mouse wheel to tumble. Go back to frame one and play that animation. 
there's the replication and the DNA moves into place as part of mitosis. Now I just have to move the animation of the transparency so it's in the right place. As we can see here in a shaded view, it's not quite occurring at the right time. I'll pick that cell original material and go into the dope sheet. What we can see here is that it doesn't show up easily. We actually have to pick it as a unique node. All that shows up currently are the blend shapes. I'll choose it by going into the hypershade, choosing on the hotbox, window, rendering editors, hypershade. The hypershade is a node-based material editor as our materials are actually separate objects here in Maya. Here's my cell wall, and when I select that material, here in the dope sheet, there are the keyframes. What I'll do is I'll slide these out. I know I'd like it to end at about frame 72 or so, and it needs to start somewhere sooner. I'll pull the end keys out here using the select key tool, and then click and drag the mouse wheel to pull these around right-clicking and choosing Edit and Transformation Tools, Move Keys Tools first. I'll make sure I've got these keys selected and pull them into place. I'll pull these over so that this transformation occurs by about frame 90. I need to remember the start of this that it starts at frame 65, and so I need to make sure that the diploid cell animation matches that. I'll select it in the hypershade, and back here in the dope sheet, I'll make sure that these keys of the diploid cell animation start at frame 65, and I can pull it over and see the stats up at the top, and then that the end keys here occur at frame 90. Again, I'll select them, right-click and choose Edit, Transformation Tools, Move Keys, and pull them over. I'll test this out and see if it's working. Here's my original, but there's actually the diploids. When I go back to frame one, the DNA splits, and there's the transformation. The one last thing to do is adjust the value a little bit, as I'd like to be able to see through these. We've got a couple of ways to do this. We can make the material just generally more transparent. So instead of being a transparency of 0, it starts out at 0.5. Or we can do it through a map or some kind of material. I'll do that in the last video, getting the material looking right and putting a camera in place. But I've got my DNA animating and the mitosis occurring.